So this comment was on one of my um, last videos and I stitched that video. Um, but one thing, <clears throat> if you're not black American, please understand that you should not believe the hype when people say black Americans don't have culture. Because that's one of the parts of that bridge, that learning curve, that will hit you like a ton of bricks. Um, if you are just coming into the United States of America and you just simply believe the hype. Black Americans are an ethnicity. African American is an ethnicity. Black American is an ethnicity. Afro American is an ethnicity. It all means the same people. The same group of people that were enslaved. Okay. That that people. Okay. I appreciate the commenter. And these are the comments that um he wrote. I appreciate the commenter because he he mentioned the bridge and he also mentioned he or she <laughs> also mentioned um that the belief is that they know African Americans or Black Americans only through TV, music. You don't know Black Americans. If that's the only way you know Black Americans, you don't know Black Americans. Okay? No, no. I met someone who lived in South Africa. One of the things he said was, I know all about Black Americans. So, so. Okay. Like what? First thing, hip hop. So what else do you know about black Americans? And I waited. And I waited. And I waited. And then I said, you don't know anything about black Americans. You know about music that we created. And one form of it, which is hip hop. Watching one movie cannot teach you about black Americans. So and that's the thing. And I know that there's this big old thing, you know, what what culture, what culture, what culture, what culture? Black culture. Black culture. That's our culture. In just the same way I don't know about Zulu culture. I know who Zulus are. I know Shaka Zulu. Okay. Because I like that movie. But that doesn't mean I know Zulu culture. I haven't been around it. I don't know. I would have, it's a learning curve, right? Most people who live outside of the United States of America and some people who are inside the United States of America do not know black culture the same for black history why because it's not like it's been taught thoroughly you would actually have to not ask you can't just go and just ask anybody a historical question sometimes you can't even ask just any African American a historical question and a whole bunch of times you can't ask other folk a historical question about African Americans. You can't. The truth is African Americans have been documenting our history for a very, very long time. All the way back. All the way back. Centuries ago. We had our own newspapers. We had our own publications. We have a lot. There are a lot of ways that you can learn about black history. It's just not going to be in school. Most of the time. No. So when that commenter, I'll put his comments back up, when that commenter said what he said about he or she, let me just make that clear, he or she said um, what she said about learning from black Americans, something that he or she never knew, never knew. That's the bridge. You got to connect the dots. So for anybody out there, don't believe that hype. You don't know the culture because it's not your culture. Same as me.
I don't know your culture because it's not my culture. My culture is black culture. What's yours? Because of the fact that you're coming into the United States of America, is there's so many different cultures here that I, I still can't tell you everybody's culture. I still can't, okay? There's so many cultures here. But the thing is, if you're coming in here and if you're a black immigrant, it would be, and I'm talking to black immigrants, it would be very wise, very wise to learn African-American history. Beyond the surface stuff, you will be very wise to, and when you get here, very wise to understand what we're talking about. And I'm going to tell you why. Because um, when I met, because I tracked down um, a um, cousin of mine that was from 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 Evil Land, um, Nigeria, and um, and I did that through Ancestry. We linked up, right? He told me when he first came over here, he's older than me. When he first came over here, he was in a shock because all the all the black people invited him to the party or wherever it was to a get together. Yeah, they were really nice to invite me. But he said he he became frightened or he became he didn't understand why. And this is his first time here. He said he didn't. It was a culture shock. He was not aware that even the language was different. Even the language, when he went, they spoke a different way amongst each other. Even the language. He said, I couldn't understand what anybody was saying. And from that point, he felt uncomfortable and he felt so uncomfortable until he never went, went there again. But he said they were very nice. Don't run away. In order for you to be truly cross-cultural, you have to stay there and learn what they mean. Learn. He, he grew not understanding certain things, he stayed around white people. And that was the only perspective he had for a very, very long time. Very long time. And I could tell by speaking to him. He called me up one day and he said, <gasps> and I said, what? He said, I had no idea that black people created this much stuff in the United States of America. I didn't know they invented all this. And he started running down the list and I started laughing. He said, I didn't know. I did not know this. I said, don't run away because you don't know. Don't run away because it's something new. You have to stick around. Listen up. Stick around. Listen to the black old people. Listen to the black middle class people. Listen to the listen, listen, learn, listen, listen. And then you'll be able to put everything together. But yes, I had to tell him we invented all that stuff. He was amazed. And he'd been here for a long time. He had no idea. His outlook, and you could tell he was like, Poof! it was like new money. So, And then he was like, why didn't they teach me this in school? Because they're not. That's black history. That's black culture. Welcome.